Welcome to the WHM Mailbag, everybody. I'm Andrew Jupin alongside the whole gang, Eric Siska, Christopher Cabin, and Stephen Sadak. I'm we are Elf here. Siska. What's that? I'm Elf Siska. Elf Siska. Elf Siska. Hey, I'm Elf Siska. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you and Bob Newhart, that'd be charming. <laughs> oh, right? Right? Yeah. Well, I say that because uh, we're all wearing Santa hats because well, this is a holiday mailbag. It's on YouTube. We've That's got right. new video technology, so if you haven't checked it out yet, sure. check in now. You can see us wearing holiday hats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there, Isn't never, that fun? There, there never was a Polish elf before. Uh, we never had one of those at the, at the North Pole. Uh, I, uh, <clears throat> it uh, probably would take some time to adjust to <clears throat> Polish uh, <clears throat> uh, elf. The Do problem right. is all the fucking wooden <laughs> submarines you were carving had screen doors on. <laughs> Do I... Uh, do I feed it sausage? <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. Uh, so we have some letters here for the holidays. Uh, so Steve, do you want to kick us off? I will with a non-holiday related email. Uh, Ooh. This comes from Steve, who is not me, who had this to Are say. Are you sure? I, I'm, I'm almost positive. <laughs> I'm almost positive. All right. Uh, hi, gang. Uh, sorry for the... Uh, uh, just, there's a lot of stuff up front that I'm not going to read because I don't want to read it. That's fine. Really? That's my thing. Wow. Always fine That's to my just thing. get on yes. with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on a recent flight from Toronto to Paris. Mm, nice. Must be, must be nice to be a little rich boy over here. No comment. Uh, <laughs> six hours plus, I witnessed the most prolific in-flight puker you can imagine. What? Here, hereafter known as pukey. Uh, as we boarded. Pretty creative. <laughs> <laughs> I shall call you Pukey. <laughs> that's uh, my Pixar short. Oh, that's <laughs> Pukey. Fuck. Finally, one that won't win the Academy. <laughs> no, that's the one that will. Uh, as uh, we I boarded, can't believe, uh, <clears throat> Pukey was uh, <laughs> <laughs> shut out. <laughs> as we boarded, Pukey is loudly <sighs> making noises and having trouble finding his seat. Oh boy. We figured he was high, and my girlfriend said uh, he'd be our in-flight entertainment. She was right in a way. <laughs> During takeoff, Pukey takes pukes into his hand, <laughs> then flicks his hand back down the aisle, spraying vomit what? on the floor, no. barely missing his shoes. Now again, I guess so you're like, Burr, ah! Well, uh, I've been I've been puking before Pukey, so I didn't learn anything directly <laughs> from Pukey. And see, the story of Pukey is that that fleck has to find the rest of the puke that's been mopped up <laughs> uh, to go home. Did he get Agent Starling or not, is my question. <laughs> <laughs> Madman pukey, dude. Uh, ten minutes later, pukey remembers he has an air sickness bag and uses it. Hey, thanks. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> Soon after, the cabin crew notices the spray down the aisle. Uh, they All give... the carrots. I know, by the way, that this is Canada to France, so I don't know what the air marshal situation mm. is, but where is the air marshal? There's an Take them down! It's, yeah. <laughs> it's an air mountie. <laughs> and it's a le puke with cheese, I think they call it. Oh, oh, I the little see. differences. Uh, t bah, bah, bah. Um, soon after, the cabin crew notices spread on the aisle. They give Pukey a few moist wipes to clean up. Ooh. Since he's <laughs> drunk and stupid, he makes... Wait, this is the first. Is this the first time that this writer is mentioning that the pukey is drunk? I think so. That's okay. how we're learning. And okay. stupid. And <laughs> if this person was fat, they'd be an animal house, <laughs> and it's no way to go through life, son. Uh, the, since he's drunk and stupid, he makes a quarter-assed attempt uh, to clean up the carpet, then spills his vomit bag all over himself. Come on, pukey! Come on, pukey! <laughs> You know, everyone in coach gets gets to go into first class. That's how that goes. Everyone gets upgraded, and Pukey has to be in the back of the plane. Oh, man. Uh, it's a scene from Problem Child. Yeah, yeah, it is. In We're, the air. under his, Gilbert to be fucking getting vomited on? <laughs> under his seat is now a horrifying pile of vomit and paper towels. My girlfriend is trying to engage me in conversation, uh. Yet I cannot look away. But could you Sorry, imagine? babe. This guy's throwing up. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's just getting good. <laughs> but could you imagine sitting next to this guy? No, yeah, oh, that's no, yeah, I mean, That's a story I'd love to hear. I, I mean, I, would, I really hope that this guy had gentleman's first class. Uh, a flight attendant then sprays the carpet with perfume and throws a blanket over it. Yeah, that'll do it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks you, a lot, pal. Here, just you, soak it up. <laughs> Pukey takes the blanket and uses it to clean himself off. Nice. <laughs> this dude 
socks and rules. Uh, uh, flight attendant returns with some of that powder. You sprinkle on a carpet after your dog pees on it. The mess is sprinkled, then covered I, with more blankets. Is that like Comet, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Did, I don't, it's like that weird. I've yeah, gotten this. Oh, we used it in the fucking theater all the time. Yeah, when kids would puke on the floor, or yeah. I guess adults. Yeah. We, you, we dumped this stuff, oh. and it turned the puke into sawdust, and you could like right. sweep it up. So that's uh, not Comet. That is not I was Comet. trying to loop it back around to the reindeer. Oh, no. So that because we got the holiday hats on the YouTube. Uh, Unfortunately not, dude. The woman sitting behind Pukey asks for a new seat. She is moved. The guy asks the next ask the guy next to Pukey asks to move as well, but the only vacant seat is behind Pukey. <laughs> he takes it. You know, when Pukey's not on screen, people should be asking, where is Pukey? Fuck, dude. I don't know though. As far as we've been told so far, Pukey's not like slinging it to the side but yeah. slinging it to the back that's true yeah that's i a- think this dude was safe where he was <laughs> right. to be totally honest uh, uh pukey gets up uh, uh, uh he takes it anyway pukey gets up presumably to puke in the bathroom oh and that's staggers to a idea. standing position this is when the air marshal has to take him out like three to the chest sorry <laughs> pukey <laughs> this dude's a menace he's gonna take us down with him <laughs> who knows what he's got in that vomit <laughs> They can't check that. That's true. It could be outbreak. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, it's like a Final Destination movie. As he staggers <laughs> in a standing position, I hide under my thin airline basket just in case he throws up on me. Airline basket? Oh, oh, airline blanket. Sorry. That's oh. uh, Ew, don't use those. Ew. No, I never use those. Uh, I guess, though, when puke is flying all over the cabin. Mm. Maybe. Right, it's like yeah. a Gallagher show. You want a poncho type of thing. I mean, well, your life's already over. You got carrots in your hair. <laughs> while he's gone, I throw while he's gone, I throw my air ba- air sickness bag into his onto his seat. That's kind of a favor. That's to, a good move. But right? I mean, I feel like it should be like the end of uh It's a Wonderful Life. A hundred letters for Santa Claus. Everyone should be throwing these fucking things in there. <laughs> it should be raining down from the heavens. He keeps throwing up. And then and it then comes, you need it. Because yeah. listen, when I smell puke. Mm. Get ready for puke, dude. See, that's, I've never been that way. You just love the smell of vomit in the <laughs> I morning. Just, well, I get so hard. No, I, I've, I've just uh-huh. never gotten where, like, somebody somebody puking has never caused me to puke. I will say that. No, yeah. It's never been a stand-by-me pie <laughs> contest puke off for me. But, like, have I've you guys definitely done that. ever gotten, like, air sick? I don't think I've ever gotten I've never air gotten air sick either. No, and I've been, like, really drunk and high in the air. Mm. Yeah, but like never this pukey up. story sounds like th- I when, can see this happening in like 1930. <laughs> when I was young, I remember getting like a little air sick, but like definitely not to that point where you're constantly doing it. How much did he eat? Yeah, I mean, you didn't get sick to the point where it was like a Monty Python gag. No, 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 saying. yeah. yeah okay. I need more info on pukey. He comes back and uses my bag. During subsequent bathroom visits, back? Wait, wait, he came back yes. from vomiting yes. yeah. and vomited again. Yes. Yeah. How saying. is that even possible? This this is like this is like a Ebola virus. Yes. Or Seriously, were his fucking stomach guts coming up? It's fucking World War Z on the plane, man. Like I don't like it. You gotta fucking th- you, you know what? Have everybody buckle their seatbelts. <laughs> Open the door and throw this guy out. Seriously. You have to turn it into an action movie for well, a second. First, you have to set the body on fire. That's the only way you're going to get rid of Pukey, it. Pukey, get off my plane. <laughs> and President Dick Hot Dog says off. Uh, during subsequent bathroom visits, I ask my seatmate for their bags so we could donate them. Oh, God. But they don't have any. The this cabin crew, is a fucking menace. The cabin crew bafflingly does nothing to ensure he has a fresh supply. Lacking any bags... Pukey throws up into the in-flight magazine and then holds it vertically onto his lap. <laughs> this guy is drunk and stupid indeed. Seat 37D is a nightmare. The floor, seat, man, and his carry-on bag are covered. The plane must be destroyed. <laughs> is he vomiting clear liquid? I, don't, I just that's, don't understand. That's a great question. It's what's be what's left in there? Yeah, Blood? Uh, oh, nice. Blood pukes. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me, Pukey! Yeah, totally. Did Get the fuck yeah. away from me! Did something drop in this dude's eye as he was boarding the plane? <laughs> <laughs> A crow was, was standing in the fucking airplane tunnel. Uh, the cabin crew have given up, just ignoring Pukey while struggling to wheel the beverage cart over the blankets onto the floor. <sighs> Why am I sending you this letter? Great question. Uh, I like it. I think it's a perfect letter to send. <laughs> hey, man, I'm with you. So far, so good, dude. We haven't had nice puke and shit stories in a while. We all hate movies at gmail.com. <laughs> well, you guys are all gross, and I figured you'd enjoy it. Uh, but I also draw a movie connection. At one, at one point during oh, Pukepocalypse or a Pukeopalypse, 
I like Pukapala. Puke Pocalypse, I think, is what. Yeah, you that's wanted. what it was. Wait, this was directed better. by Cronenberg. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I attempted to watch the the Willem Dafoe movie at Eternity's Gate. Uh, it seemed okay, but then I got distracted. <laughs> it's not and I a couldn't play really, movie, by the way. I Great movie. Pay, I couldn't pay attention, so I uh, I should probably give it another chance. Can any of you confirm if this movie is worth watching without puke, which Andrew just did? Yep, Have yep. you ever watched a movie but missed it due to external distractions? Thanks, Steve. External distractions, so it's not your own puke. You just had Uncut Gems ruined for you this afternoon. I, like I still really enjoyed Uncut <laughs> Gems, but I'm sitting there watching the movie, and like 15 minutes into it, some old lady's like, "Are you in row K?" <sighs> it's like fucking Mike Francesa's on the screen. Show some respect. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, it's, no, then I'm like, "Yes, this is row K." And then she asked the guy in front of me. Oh it's man. Like, that's Ro J. You didn't believe me that it's Ro K. Oh, man, I would love it if it turned into a fucking Purple Rose of Cairo and you and my friend says that he just turns like, Eric, you got to tell this girl to find your seat. <laughs> I'm trying to play this restaurateur that's also a bookie. <laughs> you can't kiss Papa John. The first person you kiss <laughs> on the lips cannot be Papa John. <laughs> And then a guy behind me was laughing hysterically like he was watching Grown Ups or something. The fucking people uh, hooting, laughing like at like... Every dr- single thing. It's like, oh, oh, some dudes are roughing up Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, dude, he is not doo-boo-boo-bobbing in that movie no, at no. all. It's weird, man. People laugh. I mean, I guess because it's uncomfortable after. I mean, that movie is fucking tense. Like, really, yes, really yeah, tense. Sure. I can't, you know, I... I, it, I it's it's I, gambling, just don't do it. Yeah, movie, just, right? yeah exactly. <laughs> Uh, any external circumstances ruined a movie for you one way or another, or maybe you want to give it another uh, chance? I mean, I don't want to talk like uh, uh, like people talking or like no, yeah, that, know, we've, we've like, got, how about like, really bad. Oh no, you get you go. Well, ahead. I would say one time uh, we were watching a private screening of Signs at the old multiplex back in the mm-hmm. day. Kevin, were you here for this story? Yes. And it was that famous rolling uh, brownout that New York State had. Oh right, that one summer, <clears throat> and it was like right when. They're showing the the handy cam footage of the birthday party and the alien like runs oh, that's by the freaky, screen. Man. And oh, that's the nice. second it ran by the screen, all the power went off and the emergency lights, like these floodlights turned on. And I guess it's the exact opposite because it wasn't ruined at all. It actually made it wait. We were all like, what the fuck? <laughs> like fucking shitting your pants. Yeah, and that's then we cool. realized like the power went out. I had a similar thing at, uh, I saw Castaway and when the FedEx plane was going down, by the way, ship with FedEx. <laughs> Castaway says so. Um, the floodlights came on and the the movie stopped, you know, it eventually stopped, but I, I thought it was like, this is really good effects. Like, wow. Yeah. Like I'm there. It's 4D before 4D was 4D. <sighs> But yeah, that's the end of that. Is but is there any puking? Like 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 maybe noticing an audience member being a fucking vile someone, monster? And not as bad as as puke apocalypse, but in the industry screening at the New York Film Festival the year Twelve Years a Slave was there, mm. uh someone started like during um one of the horrendous scenes in that movie, an old woman like ran up from her seat and I was sitting in the back of the, the theater yeah. and she like Almost made it to the door and started vomiting. Oh, like, God. Re- and it's like I don't. I never heard an old lady retch before, and it was just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I mean, she. I mean, the fucking decrepit donors yeah. that yeah. go to the Walter Reed during like the industry yeah. press screenings. I saw an old lady puke once. <laughs> it was on a Metro North train. And she was like barely keeping it in, but then she finally got in the bathroom, and then she came out and she was like sweating and like, oh, oh my. man, puke and then like went back the in. Yeah, it was massive Fuck. puke set with sweats. I was, oof. <laughs> I forget what it was. I think it might have been Captain Marvel, but I was behind. I, I've told this story before, I think, but I, there was a, a, a young son and his mother in front of me, and at one point he just starts like hitting his mother. And she hands him the uh, like those popcorn tubs, uh-huh. and he just starts retching into the oh, tub. Like, not gonna get up to go to the bathroom. Can't miss a second of this Marvel ver- movie. Was Very audibly, huh? was there popcorn in it? Was he puking no, on the corn? No. I, I didn't inspect. I would suspect no. Fuck, dude, do you want butter on that or what? <laughs> and it was a couple of times they pulled the lever a couple of times there with that kid. That's gnarly. Wow, that kid hated that movie. <laughs> Uh, and then he went and wrote about it on the internet. Uh, Chris Cabin, I believe you're up next. Yeah. You're in the letter reading. Uh, it's a movie, English. Uh, hey, guys. My dad grew up in 
uh, an Amish country in Ohio. And even though he left the church, he wanted us kids to understand the culture. So starting in 1987, when I was 10 years old, he sent my brother and I to stay with our grandparents in the summertime. Work Fuck, on- it's like a reverse rumspringer. <laughs> you got to go there. The Werkspringer. <laughs> Arbeitspringer. <laughs> Your, your, your Game Boy will do you no good here, English. <laughs> You're going to make bread. Day in, day out, making bread. Uh, work on the farm and live as he did for a couple months each year. Kill me dead. I, don't know. I think it sounds pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, nope. I think this fine. is actually good for children. Round you out a little bit. Exactly. I turned out okay without any farm work. Let me just did say. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Point. <laughs> Uh, Dad was the oldest of 10 kids. Damn. Uh, Yikes. And his youngest sibling, my Aunt Barbara, was only three years older than me. So we had a lot in common. Aunt (laughs) Barbara. What? (laughs) Look at that extreme tab. Got it. Oh, and the Aunt Barbara tab. (laughs) Wow. It's just... It's just her teaching you how to build a barn. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's different a, videos, a series. Yeah. Search porn up for Amish ant. Like <laughs> no, home. dude, yeah, it's it's there. I'm telling you really? it's there. All right, I'm going to look. Have to make hard candies at home. <laughs> should, I look, uh, should I look now? No, Is that no, dynamic no, you content for YouTube? <laughs> uh, the big deal for Amish kids back then was when the bookmobile came every couple of weeks. Was it a horse-drawn carriage with books on the back of it? <laughs> or was did it? Or... Alternate joke was the bookmobile only allowed to pull up to the tip of the property, and they had to find. One. It's just it's just a Toyota Corolla with boxes of books in the back <laughs> seat. Drive through Amish country. Okay, everyone. so this just in from the internet ticker. I googled Amish ant porn. Uh huh. Uh huh. And one of the top results uh-huh. is Amish mom porn son ma'am ant real. Real, yeah. <laughs> No, thank you. In no, thank caps. you. Yeah, we don't have to. Please don't Amish click on that. Amish girls go anal. <laughs> Amish women fucking sons. Man, that's. I guess that's close enough. Yeah. To well, well no, the thing is, you put an ant in there. It's like, ah, this guy's looking for family stuff. Yep. Yeah, and that's, you're right. I'm yeah. Sorry. I had to Google the fact. He's like, ah, what do we got for family stuff? Yeah. Uh, uh, right. hey, uh, by the way, uh, better make an appointment to get uh, a new everybody- phone after that <laughs> search. Also, is he you- on your Wi-Fi network? Out of curiosity. <laughs> also, everybody knows the best Amish porn is uh, the parody Wit Nuts. <laughs> Come on. And by the way, there Wit nuts. there are some new. Well- <laughs> Done. It took me way too long to get it, but that is fucking hilarious. There are some news articles that are too disturbing to read as well. Sure. I, I, <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you, yeah. Can I, I get enough. back to it? Yeah, yeah, let's continue. Uh, one day when Barbara was gathering her books to return, I noticed that uh, the first in the pile was the novelization of Karate Kid Part 2. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Depending on the sect, many Amish kids attend public school so that they can learn English and find out about the outside world. On the last day of school that year, Barbara's class had a free day where the teacher had shown Karate Kid 1 on VHS. Even though it was on 12-inch TV, t- bleh, it was on a 12-inch TV and she was in the back of the room, she loved the movie and wanted to know more. So when she saw the book for part two, she immediately grabbed it. But isn't this like just as good as movies? Yeah, yeah. But this is like Devil's Temptation, right? They shouldn't be watching television. It's bad enough that they've got uh, light bulbs. It's so fucked up. I think the idea is you look at it and the strong Amish say no, thank you. Isn't he? Isn't the 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 Cobra Kai kid uh, rolling up a J in that movie? He is. He is. That's poisonous, man. Oh, he's rolling a number on the toilet. They must have got really excited when Johnny breaks her radio. Like, yeah, he did it. (laughs) That radio. (laughs) That guy's a hero of the movie. (laughs) You did it. Great summer. Now come on home. Uh, for the rest of that summer, when doing our chores uh, in the barn or fields, Barbara and I broke down the Karate Kid saga to an insane degree. It's one of my best childhood memories. Uh, looking back, she was probably humoring a ten-year-old boy who somewhat uh, ten-year-old boy somewhat because I know how I could get. Uh, as far as I know, to this day, she has never seen the movie version of parts two or three. You know, Barbara, you're fine. You're, no, you're, you're remain show, Amish. No, no, no. Operation <laughs> Show Barbara part three, because it's got <laughs> Terry Silver. Got it. Karate's bad boy, Mike Barnes. <laughs> nice. And other events there within. <laughs> it's true. And a lot of bonsai no, trees. Just stick with for richer or poorer. <laughs> oh, God. That's 
That's like cultural appreciation. It's awful movie. Yeah, it's that awful, might be a awful stay tuned. Yeah, big uh, time. Be, yes, definitely. Or uh, ha- what happened to the Morgans? Oh, or did you hear what happened to yes, the Morgans? Yes, that's it. Yeah. Oh, they were shot in the head. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> that's, what I heard. that's what I heard. <laughs> Twist ending, shot in the head. Uh, by the way, Barbara renewed the Karate Kid two book so that I could read it, and I remember if if I remember right. Miyagi uses karate to fix Daniel's car in the first chapter. Yeah. Better movie. Well, we're going to have to look into that. <laughs> Better movie. I mean, he just like kicks the engine? <laughs> I guess that's probably Like Ryu. He just kind of kicks the engine right. and then fixes it. Test your might, Miyagi edition. He just fixes the car. <laughs> no, that, the car has evidence and he has to break it, break it down like Street Fighter. Oh, right. And does the legs. Oh, um, thanks so much for all the laughs. I'm a Patreon subscriber and you guys are the best. Lynn in Missouri. Well, Lynn, thank you for not only your letter, but for the Patreon uh, subscription. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, right. I'm kind of curious like, about what Lynn thought about Karate Kid when he finally saw it, right? I mean, like... He loved it. He yeah. loved it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, how could you not? Well, yeah, no, but it's just sort of one of those things like when you... Th- as a when you think you know what a movie is, and then you finally... S- you make up a whole story about yeah, it in your head, yeah, and then you sure. finally see it, it doesn't right. match up. Yeah. Yeah. I- Maybe he was disappointed. Could have been. I don't know. Just saying. Well, now he knows about theme parks and girls, and it's all over. I remember I theme once did, because uh, I was a shit heel student, I oh. did a book report on the novelization of Home Alone. Yeah, you did. Really? Yeah, yeah, and nobody, they were like, you know what, dude? Did you actually read it, though? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because in that version, though, uh-huh. uh, Joe Pesci dies of a broken neck. Oh, got it. Yeah, And yeah, they were the snowball the bandits in that version because they would spit at each other's mouths. For, you know, the, uh... Why? <laughs> it was an adult read. It was for the airport. <laughs> it wasn't for you. That's why that dude was throwing up. Was it in the adult section? Was there like barn doors? Hold on. Let me look for Home Alone porn. <laughs> no, dude, no. You're going to get your phone's going to explode. <laughs> Home Alone son porn. Uh, I was just trying to think of other family names. Horn Alone. Bone Alone is the movie. Christmas oh, yeah. Rain. Bone Alone. Okay. Yeah. Bone Alone. That's a good one. So it's like. So Kevin McAllister uh-huh. realizes he can masturbate the entire time his family's gone. Dude, yeah, Kevin McAllister would have figured something out. Like, fuck it, finally. He finds the fucking Playboy and buzzes yes. his chest. That's well, he true. goes like, yeah, 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 yikes. And you're like, nah, dude. No, that he does that, right? And uh, then like, he goes out ice hmm. skating. He has that crazy adventure. Sure. He buys the stuff at the store and whatnot. And then he comes home after he sees the neighbor and all that. And then he's like. <sighs> maybe and that's a deleted scene got it well he's a, also like awakening thinking, an awakening he's also thinking about the lady at the at the grocery store he's kind of flirting with a little oh, bit right yes yeah she's and like, are he you puts, really he, 18 yeah he that puts whole. it together mm-hmm. well, right like when he goes oh I forgot about that when yeah, he goes to the grocery store for the kids yeah like, yeah what a disgusting i was reminded of that scene in that abhorrent the movies that made us thing on netflix oh god what cheap shit dude it's like watching <laughs> fucking subpar like I love the arts. Yeah. There's some fucking terrible narrator who's like, John Hughes decided to write Home Alone. It's like, you want to fucking, uh-huh. speaking of puke catastrophe. I saw some of that at a bar. It was just on, the bar just had it on because they were playing Netflix. And it was the Ghostbusters one. Uh-huh. And I'm like, I wonder if Bill Murray's going to, like, obviously Please. not. It's only Dan Aykroyd. That, I mean, it's the same thing with Home Alone. You got fucking uh, uh, Daniel Stern uh-huh. and Chris Columbus and... Oh, and Buzz, of course. And that'd be all. And I'm sorry. I know for a fucking fact that Uncle Frank is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him yesterday? The- <laughs> I check in every once in a while to see if Uncle Frank has passed on. For the Ghostbusters one, they had a guy named Murray. That's sad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a guy named Murray. I- some dude who works yeah. in a Jewish deli, first I, name Murray. I kind of feel like Bill Murray is trolling Dan Aykroyd when he pretends he doesn't like Ghostbusters. Oh, come you on, buddy. I mean? Come on, old pal. You know we had such a great time making that movie. <sighs> yeah, if I had to see what my best movie with uh, Harold Ramis was, I'd probably say Stripes. Oh, come on! Oh, man. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Everybody knows that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Stupid super tank. So the next letter. Oh, right, right, right. Sure, sure, sure. Is Christmas Raid. Which is why we're dressed like this. It's what's going to happen in here if you keep fucking searching for stuff on your phone. <laughs> Christmas raid in the studio, dude. They finally got those We Hate Movies boys. Listen, no one cares what you search. They got the chair for what? <laughs> All four of them. 
Hello, gang. This story takes place in Toledo, Ohio, in mid-December of 1998. How perfectly specific. One weekend. Which weekend was it in mid-December, you <laughs> son of a... My Give par- us the facts. The real facts. <laughs> <laughs> what hour of the day was this? Uh, uh, one weekend, my parents had to go up to Michigan to visit friends. They had to visit friends. Necessity. Hey, man, you got to keep up relationships as it was, you get older. It was the Parkers. Which park? What, Peter Parker? Yeah, Peter Parker's parents. They had the Peter Michigan? Parker's parents. Pepper. Yeah, I don't know. Are you talking about Peter Piper, dude? Oh, Peter yes. Peter Parker's Spider-Man. Peter anyway, Piper is a guy that eats peppers, right? Yes. Mm, oh, yeah, dude. I want to look that up on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> eating pepper porn? Oh, yeah, look at him eat that pepper. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. No, seriously, do it. No, <laughs> eating it. pickled pepper results. porn. Read some results. Okay. This is what people want. Just dynamic content. <laughs> they want you reading results. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely don't want us to read these letters, because I'm definitely not. <laughs> I really did not want to go, and after some debate, they said I could stay home for the night. I was 15 years old and a nerd, so my parents were comfortable with leaving me home alone. Oh, Oh, shit. shit. Bringing it all back around. (laughs) Oh, no. You're laughing at the pepper porn? (laughs) He's laughing at pepper porn. No. Read the pepper porn. First of all, I think when you type in eating pepper into into uh, <laughs> porn of, it thinks you mean something else. It's like, uh, did you mean? Penis? Oh, eating pussy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but right. there is... That's a bad word. Don't I say don't that. know what this is. I'm just going to play the oh, audio of it. Oh, God. Oh, no. no. I like this. I like this. It is. Let's see if we get removed from YouTube. It? All right. I am, I am on the board ready to mute the channel at any time now. It is what I can only describe as a derelict-looking man in a... T- in a, in a, in a <laughs> At a table, and the, with a watermelon and a spoon, and the and the the title is "How to Eat a Watermelon." So I'm excited. <laughs> okay, but this uh, is on Pornhub. It is on Pornhub. Okay. Here we go. Hello, watermelon students. Today I will be doing a tutorial on the correct way to eat a watermelon. <laughs> As you can see right here, we have. One serving, one serving of watermelon one is one half of a watermelon. In this case, it's a seedless watermelon, and uh, uh-huh. I probably would prefer the seed-type melon, but uh, this one looks pretty good. Oh, dude, I'm going to start jerking off in a minute. think you're supposed to eat watermelon Real heads with know that the seeds are better. Sure, you will last right five there. seconds eating this watermelon. And, of course, that's not true. Oh, it's a fork. There is a fork, and nice. the fork cartel many years ago fork car- uh, sort of brainwashed people into thinking you're supposed to eat a watermelon. I love this. With a fork, just in an attempt to <laughs> Wait, sell just forks. to confirm once again, to I'm like, this is on Pornhub. This is on Pornhub. We should start posting the mailbags on Pornhub. Uh, <laughs> dude, I'm watching. Also, there's, you know that, uh... If you're familiar with the site Pornhub, which I might be, they, they have that like graph as to like when the most watched part is. <laughs> and this thing is a fucking spike going all the way down. Oh my god! Wow. So at the first utterance of Fork oh. Cartel, yeah, what, what's his get... what's his username? Oh. We 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 aired some of his content. Inter- that's fair. That's totally fair. Um, the Watermelon oh, Man. I locked my phone. Uh, it is Magician Oz. Okay, okay Magician Oz, thank you yes. for your contributions. Check to the, the rest of those community. videos, dude. I'm just saying this watermelon thing might be an anomaly. Everything else is fucking gigantic dicks. <laughs> well, you know, if that. Listen, you don't go find. Don't go looking for stuff we talk about. We I just might had to. Legally, we had to mention that. I might watch the rest of that video a little bit later. Oh, that's fucking great. With your pants down. Mm hmm. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, obviously, by the way, if you kind of forward it ahead, that dude just eventually stands up and starts jerking. I off. think so. Yeah, yeah. I like, think gotcha. So. This is an instructional <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I don't even know uh, what we were talking about uh, before. No, well, the kid was staying home alone Got uh, it. for extended periods of time because they his parents knew that he had not discovered booze or tall glasses of water. Mm, marijuana. Deadly stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, I was at a bar right before I came here, uh-huh. and two of the old timers there yeah. were saying if marijuana was legalized in the United States, we'd be right back to the murder rates of the 70s. Oh, oh I, I bet. Man, you know, I hate that you go to my neighborhood bar in the afternoon when all the fucking creeps are there, because they're not there at night. It's a whole different kind of creeps. They're way more progressive. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they're just perverts. <laughs> <laughs> they're just eating watermelon on board. <laughs> I was 
Oh. And I'm a Fuck. huge Nintendo and Star Wars fan. My dad was always very supportive of my gaming and would actually enjoy watching me play different games like Zelda, Mario, and Shadows of the Empire for N64. Now you got I will all say that probably because you oh, shut Oh, a little the loved f- boy. <laughs> <laughs> not loved. Not lo- you've li- dear, dear, dear letter writer, you are not loved. Father just was able to not hear your fucking shit for a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's just a good point. Occupy your time. Oh, I can lay here drunkenly on the couch <laughs> while you play that. Yeah. Yeah. What's your score there, Jimbo? <laughs> yeah, you got uh, you got to find that fucking key, dude. <laughs> no, keep looking. You pick up his organs afterwards. That's <laughs> disgusting, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> like to see Mario fucking do a backflip after having three fucking kids. Yeah, can uh, Dr. Mario write me a script for Oxy or what? <laughs> like Jim- to see Mario uh, hold down a real job in the real world. How about that? <laughs> I never seen him fix a fucking toilet. <laughs> every Christmas, he would tell me to give him a list of five games, and he would he would get every one of them. Fucking Christ! You're right, little rich boy here. He was also a huge toy collector. Okay, this he actually- now things are coming together. By the way, he's a Superman he also- villain. He also would make videos about how to eat a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> he actually just sold his Star Wars toy collection in the mid '90s to put down a down payment on our new house. Oh that's wow, a lot. That's a, that, that's. A, I mean, like, that's crazy. Also, now you wonder, like, did he sell too early? Yeah, maybe. That's a great question. <laughs> he could have bought. He could have bought two houses. With it. We waited a little longer after the mid nineties. I think he had a crap childhood, so there is something uh, psychological there. But hey, I enjoyed the Nintendo games, and my dad is a good dude. Ooh, nice, allegedly. <laughs> Anyways, this year, <laughs> this year number one with a with a blaster bolt on the list was Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I had read about it on IGN, Nintendo Power, EGM, Game Pro, etc. for a year, and Jesus it was all Christ. I wanted to play. Nintendo what? Power is still fucking around? Oh, Nintendo Power. This is, is old. Dude. Well, yeah, but Rogue Squadron, this is an N64 game. So this is like 20 years ago. Oh. Uh, but also, I, I remember reading those game pros getting excited about video games. Really? Oh, yeah, man. I you never, never did it? No, nah, I didn't do I that. I read a I, Nintendo Power or two I had, in my day. Yeah, I had a few Nintendo Powers laying around. I was kind of a game pro kid. You were a gamer, man. Yeah, I was a bit of a game. Where did you stand on Wizard? Uh, Wiz- oh, you know me and Wizard, dude. I did you have a subscription? I didn't. I never had a, subscri- a subscription, but I would buy every issue I could. Wow. Really? Yeah. Huh. And you're still a, a massive gamer to this day. I am. You're Pokemon shielding it. Up, That's right. right? Yeah. And I'm also, oh, you didn't so go for the sword? That? It's just a Pokemon game. Oh, okay. You, you, and you use your shield different? to like smash them down, <laughs> crush their faces. <laughs> That's how you keep them underwater. No, uh, I don't have time to play it. I, I bought it. It's, it's collecting dust. That's in my all house. my oh, games. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I bought it. I was like, this is going to be fucking awesome. And it was. And I'm like, ah. I, well, bought, that's, I do like the replacement thing. It was like it was Breath of the Wild. I got stuck on that photo thing. I never looked yeah. it up. Then Untitled Goose Game came along, and that's kind of you don't I'm have at. to finish the, the the photo thing until the very end. Yeah, you, you know, just, yeah, you, you don't yeah, have to do that. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Anyway, anyways, <laughs> uh, my parents leave for Michigan. I waited about thirty minutes to make sure they didn't forget anything. And I raided the Christmas gift stash. Fuck, this always blows up in your face, dude. Little stinker here. <laughs> I find the boxes that were clearly N64 games and and very carefully cut out the side of one. Bum, 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 <laughs> He's got the glasses with the different <laughs> yeah, lenses. Totally. It's like a fucking jeweler. A scalpel's going across it. <laughs> <clears throat> he was trying to find Rogue Squadron. And I figured uh, they wouldn't notice the clear plastic missing, and I... And ri- and uh, and rip it off. I then proceeded to open it up and save the galaxy as the immortal rogues. This is rough, I'll tell you, because all right, you want to open it up, see what it is, mm-hmm. but now you're fucking playing the thing. You're in hot soup right here. I'm That's telling true. you right now, you're in hot soup. You, what are you gonna do? Like in, like eject it and put it back and pretend? It's a lot. Well, you need like a clear glue too. If it's like <laughs> Elmer's, you're gonna get caught. I think you're gonna They're try gonna to know. open it up and act like you're so excited to play. It. Like what? Are you, you're like an actor. Like oh what? my god! I did. I Jack, did. J- J- Jacob Trombley. I. <laughs> Do you think you're like a jack of Trombley? I did exactly this, by the way. What? Uh, yeah, me and my brother did this um, for a game called Spider-Man and X-Men Arcade's Revenge. It was a Super Nintendo game. Uh-huh. We opened it and played it the week before we, really? Christmas. Really? Oh, yeah, dude. Wow. And then you, you re-wrapped it. Yes. And then pretend like, oh, wow. 
Oh. Well, we just like kind of very carefully opened the the pack, the wrapping as you would, yeah. left it all out. Kind of, I remember we cut the seam of the shrink wrap Forced and it. then just kind of kept the shrink wrap on, Whoa. removed the game. Genius. Play the game. This is some surgical shit, yeah. dude. <laughs> my brother and I one time searched for presents. I don't think my younger sister was involved. We found them. We opened a couple. The wave of guilt immediately. Yeah. We fucking stopped. Uh, I, don't, I don't do that G word, man. <laughs> <laughs> One year I was searching for presents and I found all the coal. And I got so guilty <laughs> that I'd sell my coal early. Anyway. <laughs> I figured they you wouldn't. were so excited to play with the coal that you burned it that day and then had to go find some more. Exactly. Then I found all these diamonds and I was like, shit, that went too far. These, this coal's ruined. Not even a bag of nails. <laughs> Nothing but coal. Oh, yeah, bag of nails, dude. I fucking make my own IED that Christmas morning. <laughs> oh, right. uh, the littlest Christmas <laughs> terrorist. <laughs> I figured they wouldn't notice the clear plastic missing, and I rip it off, and then proceed to open it up and save the... Oh, I read this already. But then he spent the entire day playing and beating the game. He beat the game! And then I retaped the wrapping paper and put it right back where I found it. I mean, you might as well fucking return it to the store now. (laughs) Yeah, really, it's done, dude. Well, uh, Jim Boy, not playing any Rogue Squadron. (laughs) Didn't you like it? Didn't you you find it good? Oh, you don't like Star Wars anymore? Don't you like Star Wars? Okay, because you don't like Star Wars anymore. No more Star Wars gifts. <laughs> if you don't like Star Wars that much, I guess I'll get rid of the house I bought <laughs> with Star Wars. Must be playing it when I'm asleep. <laughs> that must be what's happening here. Most teenagers in this scenario have friends over and get bombed. I decided to play Rogue Squadron sober and alone. Mm-hmm. My early teenage years in a nutshell. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. My parents never had a clue I did this. Absolutely no regrets. Love playing that game. As a parent now, I sometimes think, oh, this is a crazy twist. I <laughs> fucking playing with Rogue Squadron alone. I, I thought that's what you do for the rest of your life. <laughs> now I sometimes think about it as if my kids will do something uh, like this, and I secretly hope so. Uh, what say you, WHM gang? Have Did you ever raid... The Christmas gifts. We got a little bit about that from yeah. Steve. Happy holidays. Mike in Cleveland. Thank you, Mike, for the letter and being a little disgusting shit boy. <laughs> Breaking into your parents' presents before the date in question. <laughs> Are we unwrapping some watermelon right now? Has he got a grape video? Yeah, that one also has a piece of watermelon attached to it. <laughs> so what we will do now is we will get rid of the evidence by eating... <laughs> Wait, what video the, uh, is this? This guy's playing he got rogue, a bucket of lie? He's playing Rogue, rogue Squadron. Marshmallows and watermelon <laughs> go together very, very, very well. What? <laughs> no, I just, I, I zoomed ahead a bit. Marshmallows get involved, guys. I'm what telling you, you by the those? end of that video, that dude is fucking cranking it, man. I'm might, telling you. He might be fucking what's left of the water. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> well, he is making perfect little hole incisions. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. yeah. yeah Not we'll so much of a twist ending as a what the fuck did you think was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, all right. Edited. All right. So let's see here. Going Audience to last letter. Here it comes. Last one, gang. Last one of 2019. Audience interaction, colon. It's bad, folks. Agreed. Yep. <laughs> what? Uh, dear gang, first, uh-huh, ooh, beer. Uh, first, I want to thank you for the countless hours of entertainment and making the droning process of life more enjoyable. Uh, you're welcome. I am writing in to tell you about the Alamo Draft House, a chain of movie theaters popular in Texas and all over the country. Yeah, yes. everywhere. I, I was a little perplexed by well, this. It's they, only in Texas. They just opened in L.A., I think, recently, right? Yeah, just opened we're, one we're in just getting LA. slowly. Get there. We, got the, we got three in the New York metro area. Mm-hmm. Uh, soon to be, actually... It's well, two, soon to be three. Soon to be four. One's opening on Staten Island. Also. Oh, well, well really? that yikes. Count. I'll never go, there. never go there. So it's Yonkers, downtown Brooklyn. What's the third one? There's going to be downtown Manhattan. Like really? financial oh, financial district. Oh, yeah. come on, dude. So yeah, find me down there, dude. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I myself am from the Midwest, but attend school at a small private arts college. Ha, 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 ha. Private. Uh, nonetheless, my girlfriend had the idea. Oh, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, idea. <laughs> Search idea on Pornhub. 
I bet there's some the best gr- idea for a watermelon. <laughs> vent help. You put the ideas in the hole. That's uh, where the whole the ideas go. You fuck the idea. That's the idea. Fuck the idea until it's a marshmallow. <laughs> this is a video. Was that marshmallow has come or what, man? Th- that's a good question. It I was don't just know. like come. He like used like wh- I guess what what would you use to like. Bolster, I guess, like thin it out, but also make it more. Oh, airy. I couldn't possibly begin maybe a, to a little that flour question. and like we whisk it. You get a roux going, yeah. I guess Nonetheless, so. my girlfriend <laughs> had the idea of going to one of their movie parties they offer. Oh, that's fun. Uh, for those that aren't aware, in their own words, movie parties are in quote interactive participatory, participatory screenings that bring the on screen action into the theater. Kill me, fucking dead. Nope. Nope. They had one of these for Lebowski, or was like one of the quota yeah. ones, or one of, fucking just shoot me I in would the die. face. No, thank you. No, can't do it. Uh, sounds fun. Nothing can be more magical than a crowd gathering together to enjoy classic movies. That part's true. Therefore, my girlfriend wanted to go see Monty Python and the Holy Grail, a fantastic movie. Two strikes already. Yeah. You get those fucking goblins out there. Oh, with yeah, the Monty dude. Python fans? Insufferable. And I'm a huge Monty Python I guy. Love that I love it. That, I just rewatched that movie. It holds yes. the fuck up. It does. And some of the sketches are great. Some of them are not so great. But like the, fan- the fandom. Is, I cannot. You've got at least a dozen Spanish Inquisitions I know. fucking in the back row. I think what the, we're going to hear some of this in this letter, probably. Uh, we arrive and beforehand they give us coconuts and a plastic sword, and a pamphlet with instructions. That's too much already. I'm sorry, the coconuts? No. No, we're gone. We're We're not all riding horses. Yep. (laughs) I knew this was trouble. (laughs) Uh, As it said on the pamphlet, every time they fake gallop, they wanted the audience to smash them together along Uh, with the film. No. Kill me dead. Uh, For those unaware, Holy Grail features this gag numerous amounts of times, and after two minutes, the coconut smashing was enough for me to want to kill myself. See, you know. (laughs) Uh, as for the blow up swords, there was a lady next to me who, uh, every now and again would prod me with the sword. She was clearly, clearly intoxicated. The downside of these theaters. That's yes. Like booze. Also true. Um, the worst was yet to come as the pamphlet also stated to quote the movie as much as you want, which meant the Joe Bob fuck behind me that knew every line. Uh, this was his moment to shine. I can still hear his cringy, loud voice saying, "Tis but a scratch," oh, almost as if he was trying to impress someone or anyone. You know what? Just cut off all my limbs. <laughs> I- I'll enjoy the movie as a limbless person. Uh, like the Green say, Knight in that case. Yes, I the Green Knight. Black Knight. Black Knight. Oh, d- I- Needless to the say. Green Knight actually was when we went to Medieval Times for Chris's yes, sure. D Day. Right. We were all seated in the Green Knight section. Speaking of being drunk in public, true. that was Hello great. There. That was great. We should do that again. I would totally do that. I'll go I there. I'll go there tomorrow, man. Yeah. Uh, needless to say, this ruined my movie experience, and I never wanted to do anything like this again. The only positive being I had seen it before. The other movies they feature. Uh, if you are wondering, Scott Pilgrim, Princess Bride, Elf, Bad Santa, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, uh, The Grinch 2019, Blazing Saddles, Pulp Fiction, Shaun of the Dead, Dumb and Dumber, A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Mummy, Singing in the Rain, and Love Actually. Good Lord, yeah. I wish they just offered watching classics without having the experience ruined. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering if you have any other experience with failed movie experiments or events meant to enhance the movie experience. A good example is a lake in Austin screens Jaws and allows viewers to float in the lake at night. Or perhaps the opposite, anything that can actually uh, enhance the experience. Regardless, thank you for everything, and even my poor ramen-eating ass is considering Patreon. Best Ethan B. Well, thank you for even considering, Ethan. And I have to say, you know what can enhance a movie? Some good old-fashioned marijuana. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what can do it, man. And you know what? You're not fucking bothering anybody. Nope. No coconuts required. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're of legal age in certain states. <laughs> um... Yeah, I cannot go in for that stuff. No. Like, no. I remember, Steve, you and I caught, there was a new 4K of Lebowski that was going around yes. earlier this year, and it was the first time I'd ever seen it on the big screen. I've even played the movie at the mm-hmm. Burns and refused to go, and I was like, you know what? It's film forum. It's fine. And we got a little uh, ripped out outside, and then sure. we, and we were quiet, we, but we were laughing, you know, but there was like... 
even the slightest bit of talking, I was like, you gotta fucking be kidding me! Because <laughs> I, I know it's quotable, but I, that's not what I'm there. I'm there to see Jeff Bridges Guess do it. What, yeah, I want to hear John Goodman yell at Steve Buscemi. The movie-going experience is gone. Mm. The way we've we've kowtowed to crowds. <laughs> oh, you can be any shit you want. Oh, anything. Oh, yell at the movie. Yell at it. Do it. Do what you want. It's I, your movie. I, I like the <laughs> now it fuck. It's fucking ruined for everyone. I like the I, all of that stuff. I've always hated. Like I've always loved the room. I'm not going to see the room. Not throwing spoons or whatever no. the fuck you're Enhance supposed to do. Enhance the movie experience by watching it at home. <laughs> exactly. Also, what you're doing is like aping the thing that Rocky Horror Picture Show did like naturally yes. over decades. And like that whole thing evolved. Even that, though, I'll tell you what. My I went, sister was I in went to that. It was not fun. My sister was in a stage production in college uh-huh. and we drove up. It was worth it alone to see how uncomfortable my father was the entire time. <laughs> which was fucking great. My sister pulled me on stage to dance to the time warp and all that stuff. But there was a dude front row who, like, people were doing the shout out thing. Yeah. Right? And it was encouraged. But then this guy, I don't know if it was like advanced Rocky Horror or this dude is making shit up, but it was a thing where, like, the, the call out thing happens. And then this dude was like, and, yeah, blah, 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 blah. and like, you could tell he yes. was like, cramming a bunch of words into like dead space in the soundtrack that's what this was with mine it was just like everybody had their thing and the, some guys were uh, like you know it was like like a uh, uh, different kinds of uh it was like some people were baptist some people were methodist you know what i mean like some people <laughs> yell at this part other people and i it just like made my head spin and, and then you as the catholic are just sitting there quietly <laughs> Yeah, I, I, and, and it's. I guess that stuff also naturally develops at a place like that where you're so hardcore about like no talking or we'll kick you out. Like, what is the yeah. alternative? You offer those things, and that's fine. And if you like that, that's okay. I'm just saying, like, I think it's really fucking dumb, and I no, would never ever not, attend it. It's not for me. It's I just, would float uh, around in the lake watching Jaws in Austin. Yeah, that sounds cool. Let me tell you that's what, I would probably have a beer in that. Here's float. the thing: an atmospheric. Because the thing is, the, why I went to Rocky Horror was it was in a graveyard. Like that's kind of cool. Like, sure, show me a horror movie in a graveyard. I'll go. Everybody, just be quiet. I yeah. like I like outdoor screenings yes, for or sure. drive-ins yeah. like that kind Drive-in. of thing. It has actually. to be a thing that you've seen a thousand times though, where it doesn't yeah. matter if some asshole's dragging a cooler in front of you during a you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't That's, have it be a thing you haven't seen or aren't really familiar with, because then you're just gonna inevitably miss the movie because someone's fucking barbecuing next to you or whatever. That's true. I do like uh I, I don't remember the name of it. It started in the UK. I think they sometimes do it here. This like super immersive cinema thing where it's like 4D, the 4 4D, 4D no, X, no, whatever the fuck that, that is. Stuff. No, no, no. It's Smell-o-vision. like vision. Like they did a thing for Ghostbusters, and like you walked into the event space, and like everyone was dressed as Ghostbusters. There was a set. There was a whole like that's kind of interactive thing. They drove in like an Ecto mm-hmm. one. I brought my own slime. <laughs> And then I think like after all the shenanigans are done, then they just play the movie. Got it. And that's that. You know what I mean? But mm, yeah, these movie parties keep it. goes very well with watermelon. If this guy was having a movie <laughs> party, though, I don't know. The marshmallows quite. You'd have to bring uh, covered with watermelon uh, juice here. This is a tight marshmallow. And I will very take tight. a spoon. And. Dig into the peanut butter. Oh. Wait a minute, what in the <laughs> fuck? Now there's peanut butter? Please, fast forward to the end of this wait, and wait. see if there's a dick. He's eating peanut butter and watermelon together. Yeah, it's only a minute That's left. so weird. We did la- the final minute. He's chewing. Mm-hmm. Do you see his face? Yeah, oh yeah. Watermelon. That, well, that, damn it. Peanut butter and marshmallow together. Oh. And other things... That go good. Other foods that go good with watermelon. <laughs> if you're eating a watermelon and oh God. you're very, very hot and the watermelon alone doesn't quench your thirst, what beverage goes with watermelon? <laughs> the correct answer is chocolate milk. <laughs> what is he talking that. about? Did you say chocolate milk? You yes! You can add a ice cream movie? to watermelon. You can add whipped cream Watermelon. It's all quite good. This is too much. Happy eating, watermelon students. (laughs) 
<laughs> Watermelon students. Fuck, did someone pay for this course? The end, Tom Willett 2012, FYI. Speaking 20, of... Wait, Tom Willett 2012, did he run for president? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> possibly. That actually, I'm on the watermelon ticket. Kind of interesting that movie took place in the same year as Uncut Gems. Ah. By the way, I should mention that all those old Gallagher specials are now on Amazon Instant Prime. Really? Yeah, I watched Stuck in the 60s. It was terrible. <laughs> you don't say. Maybe we'll have to figure something out for Maybe one of those. Some Gallagher commentaries. Oh, that, that's know. an we'll idea. See what's up. Uh, all right, gang, that's going to wrap on uh, the December mailbag. Again, if you have questions for us or you want your weird stories read on the air for us to make fun of, we all hate movies at gmail.com. Uh, until 2020, I'm Andrew Jupin, Steven Sadak, Chris Cabin, Eric Siska. Take it easy. Take it easy.